Okay, 1 Thessalonians 5, 6 says, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. When Paul wrote this, he was not speaking about us physically sleeping when we are unconscious, but when we are conscious living day to day. The scripture says, let us not sleep. Even though we know what sleep means, I looked up the definition of the word in the Webster's Dictionary. Sleep is defined as to rest, to lie, to be still, to live thoughtlessly, to be dead, to be careless, inattentive, or unconcerned, not be vigilant. We know these things are an exact opposite of kingdom traits. When we are sleeping, we are unaware of things that are going on, allow allowing powers of darkness to work around us. Also, when we are sleeping, we are not seeking the Lord in his will. Philippians 3.14, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. We have to continuously press toward the mark. There is no rest. Psalms 121.4 says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither sleep, slumber nor sleep. Amen. Secondly, I wanted to mention the comparison Paul makes between us, us as meaning the people of God, the saints, compared to others referring to people who belong to this world. The scripture displays that God's people and people of this world should not act in the same manner. 1 John 4, 5, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. And 1 John 5, 19 says, and we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. The last thing I wanted to speak about is be sober. The scriptures have much to say about being sober. 1 Peter 5, 8 says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. We know that Satan is always looking for the advantage, looking for the moment that we might fall asleep. It is not always easy to stay sober and not fall asleep. We are always battling with our flesh who attempts to make us dull to the things of the Lord. But we know that we, but we, know we are from God. 1 John 5, 4 says, For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So, brethren, I exhort you to gird up your loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. <laughs>